This episode was sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with my final back to school video. And this one is all around my back to school tech essentials, things that I may have missed in say my backpack tour, my dorm room guide tour. These are just some pieces of tech that you could use and kind of serves as my monthly massive unboxing haul. Of course, giveaway stuff coming. So for my last episode, we did have a winner, which was Big congrats to you. And for today's episode, gotta give a huge shout out to Huawei, who's hooking you guys up with some giveaway goodies. This one is for US peeps only. It is the Huawei Media Pad Lite. For my Canadian peeps, I'm keeping you guys hooked up as well. This is their Sportwatch GT. This is an exclusive for you guys. So two sweet things to give away, very simple to enter. Of course, leave a comment down below. Follow me over on Insta. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll be shipping both of these out before the start of next episode. So best of luck to everyone and let's get to the rest of my back to school tech essentials. We'll start off with a pack, which is the last of the limited edition series of all these Air SF bags that I've been hinting and kind of teasing. This guy is called the Duffel 2 and it's the favorite one in my line and I saved the best for last. The best thing of course is that front loading zipper which most Air SF bags do have but this one is just larger. I know it might be a bit bulkier but that means you get to store way more tech goodness inside. Same kind of thing, easily fits a couple laptops inside whether you've got a 13, 11 or even a 15 inch, of course your books and at the bottom that's where you keep all of your stinky gym shoes or maybe a controller if you're doing some undercover gaming in school. I think I've now shared the entire lineup, so I'll shut up and stop talking about these things. I'm sure you're sick of them, but that is my back to school backpack recommendation. If there was one desktop that I had to feature, it had to be the Surface Studio 2. This guy's for Microsoft. I know it's a bit on the pricier end, but for all of you creatives out there, this thing is just a beast. It's next level, the build quality is beautiful, but the reason you're getting this, it transforms into its own workstation, a sort of tablet per se. If you do need a dedicated workstation at a desk where you're sitting at all the time, this thing kind of fits that bill. You can see how easy and responsive this guy is to use. This is just the bare minimum or the surface, pun intended, which I'm scratching. You can get way more powerful apps that can utilize this machine. But as you can see, it's a fully integrated all-in-one. Everything is either behind the display or this small base on the bottom. Build quality, like I said, is second to none. It rivals Apple standards, which is usually tough to do. Once you grab this guy, try it out. I think you'll fall in love with it. I certainly have. Can't wait to use this more and more, and I will hopefully get a bit better at drawing some art on this thing. Laptop recommendations, I've mentioned all of these in previous episodes, but in case you missed them, I'm gonna browse through them very quickly. On this side, we've got the Huawei MateBook X Pro, slightly larger than just the MateBook X. Have really loved how much Huawei has been improving their laptop game over the past year to two. Either, I think, is a good option, just depending on ports and, of course, size. That will be your pick. MacBook Air, you can see... This side, I've unplugged them from my ultra fine monitors. I think you can get by totally fine on the MacBook Air. As a student, I do not think you need the MacBook Pro. Surface Pro is the perfect two-in-one hybrid. I think it's really tough to get by with just a tablet in school. This guy acts as, like I said, a two-in-one. You can use it separate from the Alcantara keyboard. But my favorite thing, it has a full operating system of Windows, unlike, say, an iPad Pro, which I guess if you really needed just a tablet, I think that's maybe the only device that you could get by without having a dedicated operating system. Let's switch now to smartphones. We've got three big ones. You guys, of course, have seen the Amber Sunrise P30 Pro, same good old Huawei device. We've got two new phones, which are new to me to check out. Of course, the Note 10, I was over at the launch in NYC. This is my quick unboxing of the device. You can see the phone up top in that Aura Glow colorway. You've seen it all across the internet. The phone which changes colors like a chameleon depending on how the light reflects on it. 
This is the Note 10 Plus though, have definitely been using it. I consider this Samsung's flagship. The Aura Glow does come with the blue S Pen. Full video on this guy coming shortly. And for all of you football, soccer fans, however you wanna call it, we've got a really special one. I'm excited. This is the Oppo Reno Barcelona edition. They've got their own Barca themed skin and just like the Oppo Reno 10X, you can see that the camera slightly pops up on a wedge shape. Love checking that one out. That was maybe my favorite item that we unboxed today. Some other back to school tech essentials that I think are a must have. If you're in a dorm room, heck, even if you live at home, wherever you are living, check out the Nest Hub. Love this guy, of course, acts as a digital clock. This is my favorite face. Acts as an integrated Google Home Save Mini. You can ask it what the weather is, any sort of questions. Hey Google, did Manchester United win today? No, Manchester United lost two to one today against Crystal Palace. Yeah, watched that game earlier today. <laughs> Touch screen, you can ask it questions. Of course, hook it up to any other smart devices that you may have. It's kind of a go-to if you're in that Google home space ecosystem. Had to throw in some gaming stuff. Even though we're in a bit of a mid-cycle refresh for consoles, check out the Xbox One S, all digital version. One terabyte of space gives you more than enough room to download a couple games. You can of course delete them as you go, since in reality, how many games can you play at once? You're in school, right? Of course, real tech essentials, books, pens, notebooks. I will leave all of that stuff linked down below. Won't try to break the bank, but I hope you guys enjoyed my back to school coverage in 2019. I went a bit heavy, but I hope you guys got some useful tips, picked up some useful tech and, um, Hope some of these giveaways have kickstarted your back to school season. I've got some great content coming up on the channel shortly. Am traveling to LA for the winner of the LA Ultra Fine video, which I will be shooting in his setup. So make sure you stay posted and I will catch you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace. So Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your own website. You can embed a video background into your website, say like one of my YouTube videos to really make it stand out. A huge time saver for say me, you can have Squarespace schedule your posts over time. You don't have to upload them all manually one by one. Be sure to check out squarespace.com slash Carl Conrad. You'll get 10% off your first purchase, create your own web space, and I will see you over on the interweb somewhere. And best of luck to you all creating your online journey.